What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a full game breakdown in the Super Bowl, so be sure to watch the video to the end. I think I got a pretty good feel on this one. Uh, friendly reminder, NFL, it's coming to a close. College basketball, probably the industry to be in uh, for the next month, month and a half, all the way through March Madness, so uh, I guess two months. Um, guys, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on today's video if you appreciate the game breakdown, and keep in mind, the last time I did one of these game breakdowns was the Chiefs and the Bills, and I took the Chiefs. I took the Chiefs to win the game outright by a field goal and hit the nail on the head, so take that for what it is. Uh, regardless of what you think about my opinion and what I say about this game, I'm not a Chiefs hater. I took them in another video, so it is, it is what it is. We'll get into the breakdown here in just a second. Friendly reminder, speaking of college basketball, now here on my YouTube channel, I do a live stream every single night, every single night at midnight Eastern time, and I go through literally every game. I give you my pick on every game in college basketball, and we come up with some locks that we think we really like on the stream, and we come up with a live stream parlay at the end, and we've started to keep track of of those two things on the whiteboard behind me. So if you guys are interested in college basketball or you want to get into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and check out those live streams. They're also posted into my videos after the recording. So you can find them in a couple different spots. And if you're interested in some more serious things, become a member here on the channel. Supports the channel at the same time. It's under a dollar a day and you'll get my personal bets, the stuff I actually put money on. You'll know like my most confident picks, stuff I bet myself. So if that's of interest, check it out. There's a video on my homepage that goes over that in more detail. But let's get into today's video. Oh man, what are we doing here, guys? This is a tough one. And there's a reason the spread is one point. Let's just get through this the best we can. Leave me your comments down below. I'm curious what you guys think. I know the Chiefs are really, really public in this spot. Everyone's starting to get to the Chiefs. But let's get into why maybe I'm leaning the other way. So the Chiefs, number two overall defense. About 290, 200, sorry, 290 yards a game about is what they're giving up. Uh, number 10. Overall offense, struggled in the regular season, but kind of came on strong as of late. They definitely look better, in my opinion. About 350 yards a game, give or take. Over on the 49er side, number eight, overall defense. Man, does it look kind of suspect lately? Does it? I mean, boy, 49ers defense. They got gashed by the Packers and the Lions for a half of football. We sure they're the number eight overall defense? Anyway, they're giving up about 300 yards per game but they're the number two number two overall offense it hasn't looked good as of late they've kind of had to almost kick it into the gear in the second half but look at the stats through the season almost 400 yards a game so take it for what it is playoff path so how did these teams get here how, how are we at the super bowl well one team played two games the other played three uh kansas city they got a Miami team without a lot of players kind of a banged up Miami team in ice cold below freezing weather I don't know. Did the weather kind of hand in that game? Maybe. Then they go on the then they go on the road. Impressive win. But was it more of a Bills loss? I mean, the missed field goal, I get it, but there were just some missed throws, digs dropping passes. The Bills always seem to choke these games away at the end. Um, it was impressive. 27-24. I gave out the Chiefs in that game. But how much credit are we going to give them? I, I, me and a lot of other people, I, I do think we feel the, the Chiefs were fortunate to get by the Bills in that game. This last game, though, is more impressive. 17-10 to 10 road win over Baltimore. I don't know where the Baltimore energy was, and I don't know where the game plan was. Baltimore, what are you doing? You're the number one rushing offense in the league. The Chiefs, very, very good defensively against the pass. Not against the run. You can absolutely run on the Chiefs. Bills almost put up 200 yards on the ground against the Chiefs. I have, I mean, they come out with Gus Edwards. What, he get 15 yards on his first carry, and then they, like, don't use him again for the whole game? I know they were down, but what are you doing? I think Baltimore, if they just had a little bit of brain cells, run the ball. The defense totally played as we expected in the second half. Basically shut the Chiefs right down. They basically shut them down in the second half. I don't know why the Ravens were so flat and, and just so gutless in the first half, but again, 17-10, to 10, road win. Uh, you got to credit the Chiefs' defense. 
uh, for some of the plays like that punch out on Zay Flowers at the goal line. Um, I really do feel like the Ravens were the better team. I feel like they weren't prepared. Their game plan was trash, and they had some lucky, not, not lucky breaks, but they got some breaks making good plays. 49ers, they had the bye week. Sort of got lucky over Green Bay. Green Bay looked like they were going to win that game. Two interceptions, one critical time at the end. Got that win. Same thing with the Lions, man. I don't know. The game did not look good. Mid-third quarter, I could have swore it was over. Gifted some coaching mistakes. Gifted some turnovers again. That lucky face mask bounce 50-yard pass to Ayuk. Ended up scoring there. Pretty fortunate. Pretty fortunate second half again. I feel like if they find themselves in a situation to where they have to, you know, make it happen in the second half, that's not going to work against Mahomes. It's just not going to happen. So I don't know why this didn't upload. I had a couple of trends that didn't upload here. But let's go over Patrick Mahomes as an underdog. 11-1-1 as a dog. 10-3 and three straight up. Holy cow. 10-3 and three straight up. I mean, guys... Is it starting to get crazy to go against this? As long as they're getting points, as long as they're an underdog, it's starting to get a little bit crazy going against Patrick Mahomes. I don't know. Take it for what it is. Here's some more overall Super Bowl trends. Teams that rush for more yards in the game, 42 and 15, straight up, meaning they win. Teams that have the turnover advantage, 35 and 9. I put quarterback question mark. Guess what quarterback is more likely to screw up in this game? I think you guys know the answer to that. And the teams that have the time of possession, teams that control the game, 36 and 9, those are all pretty straightforward. Game plan. So this is like, if, if you're going to, okay, if you take me and you make me the coach, this is my game plan. And I thought this was very straightforward for the Ravens. I was on the Ravens this past weekend. I thought it was very, like, you don't even have, you don't even have to like hide it. You could just come out and show what you want to do. You got to have slower drives if you're KC. Do exactly what they did against the Ravens. Take your six yards. Take your eight-yard pass. You don't have to be a hero. You don't have to have a 60-yard Sports Center top 10 pass. Go down the field, slow and methodically, control the time of the possession, short, high percentage plays. It just flat out works. And to bend but don't break defense. They can give up yards to the Niners. They're gonna. The Niners have offensive talent. But red zone, that pass defense, can they tighten up? And can they somehow stop Christian McCaffrey on the ground and hold some of those drives to three points? I think that's going to be critical for the Chiefs. 49ers, you got to be run heavy. You have to. Stop screwing around trying to pass the ball against Kansas City's secondary. It just doesn't work well. You could throw in interceptions. You're just asking for trouble. You have Christian McCaffrey. You have Debo Samuel. You have that O-line. What are you doing? Ravens, you had the game. All you had to do is run it. I hope the 49ers have enough brain power to actually like use common sense here. Keep Patrick Mahomes on the bench. Eight, nine, ten minute long drives. Lean on McCaffrey. If you're getting at least four yards a carry... Use it. Use it until it doesn't work. And when you're on the field on defense, you cannot let Patrick Mahomes have time. Some of those rate the Ravens all game long refused to double team Travis Kelsey, the only guy killing him. He had like a, what over 200 yards, and they refused to blitz and get pressure on Mahomes until the very end of the game when it was too late. You have to blitz him. You let Mahomes have at least three seconds back there. He's finding somebody. He's going to make a play. He'll escape with his feet. You got to blitz. You can't have this guy being comfortable. He will kill you. So some team categories, in my opinion. Better quarterback goes to the Chiefs. Better overall team. The whole roster. That goes to San Fran. Better coaching staff. I'm giving it to the Chiefs. Um, I, I, don't, I don't trust the 49ers coaching staff as much. Better pass defense. Now, not better overall defense. I'm not I'm not sure on the overall defense yet. At least the better pass defense is definitely the Chiefs. Um, I put Ravens game rigged. Uh, again, just have to emphasize they have the number one rushing offense. They have an incompetent low IQ quarterback, a running back that can pass the football, and they drop them back, what, 82% of plays? It's... This is why people say it's rigged, because I, I cannot believe 
professional coaches that make millions of dollars to make these decisions dropped back Lamar Jackson like he was Tom Brady or, or, or Peyton Manning. Makes no sense. They could have ran the ball all over the Chiefs, in my opinion. The 49ers, they have more star players. They have the better all of offense, and they have the revenge factor from the 2020 Super Bowl loss to the same Chiefs team. So take that for what it is. Let's get to it. What am I thinking? What, what do I want for my score prediction? I'm going to cross my fingers. The Chiefs are a huge public play. I would imagine by game time, they're even going to be favored in this game. I'm not sure about it. We'll see what the buyback is on the Niners have a better team. They have better players. They have a better overall roster. You cross your fingers and you hope the coaching staff for the Niners has enough brain power to know that you run the ball. You don't pass against the Chiefs. That also wins you time of possession. That also will cut down on the chance of turning the ball over. You keep the Chiefs off the field. I know the Chiefs will come back at the end. They always do. They're going to stick around. They're not going to get blown out. But I just, I, if the 49ers have a little bit of brain power in this game, they're going to win. And it might be close and it might be a nail biter. They're going to win the game. Um, we'll see what happens. It's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think below. Is it just crazy to go against Mahomes? Is this thing is this thing rigged, or is it just is it just destiny? The Taylor Swift, the media feels like Hollywood's involved in the NFL now. Is this just destined to be another Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl? Is this just the next Brady, where every time you just think it's not going to happen, somehow, some way, they get a win? It could be, guys. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you drop a like on the video, and hopefully, I'll see you for the college basketball live stream later today.